Meet the Acura Performance EV concept. It debuted at Monterey Car Week last month, but we're getting our first in-person, in-studio look at this vehicle right now, which previews some design elements that will make their way to a future production Acura electric vehicle. Let's take a closer look at the Performance EV concept, but first, what is it? Well, this is a driver-focused electric vehicle. It was designed in Acura's studio in Los Angeles, California. This vehicle will also be the first EV to ride atop Honda's newly developed EV platform, and this thing is going to be assembled at Honda's EV hub in the state of Ohio. As you can see, the Performance EV concept wears some fairly aggressive styling, at least up front. There's quite a bit going on with this Design Studies fascia. Pretty technical look to that. We've also got some fairly aggressive air inlets in the bumper here. These do flow through the body, and then of course they exit up here on the hood. So not only do these vents look good, they are also functional. We've got sort of stretched out almost leering headlamps on the front of this vehicle that do give it an aggressive look and make it seem like it's almost ready to pounce. Here we have a very pointed, almost beak-like prow, which is something of an accurate design element we've seen for a number of years, but supposedly this was inspired by hydrofoil super yachts, which I looked that up and it's basically a type of boat I will never be able to afford. So very traditional styling there for Acura vehicles, but moving to the side here, Let's check out the wheels. These are massive 23 inch rims and you know I'm a pretty pragmatic guy. I generally prefer smaller wheels with more tire sidewall but designers love big rollers because they look great on their concept vehicles and these are no exception. They fit this design study quite nicely. Again, 23 inches in diameter and we've got an interesting design element here. This kind of reminds me of whale baleen but it was actually inspired by violin strings. Might be a little bit difficult to clean brake dust off of though. And speaking of brakes, we have massive cross-drilled rotors and four piston calipers. Those calipers, of course, are painted in the same hue that we have on this Acura's body, which is a color called Moonlit White Pearl, which is treated to a semi-matte finish. And normally I'm not a big fan of white on cars, but in this case, it does look very nice, especially with those black accents. In profile, we can see Relatively long wheelbase, short front and rear overhangs, which is something that's fairly simple to do with electric vehicles because it's a lot easier to package an electric motor than it is a combustion engine, a transmission, and then of course a radiator. So you can get those dramatic proportions relatively easily. Additionally, you can see we have this sort of curving, almost coupe-like roof line rendered in black. We've also got black trim down here on the lower sills and they've sort of kicked this sill up a little bit to pinch the body side in a little to help the vehicle look a little bit shorter. Beyond that, the rear fenders are very smooth and rounded and flowing, almost an organic appearance, and they flow quite nicely into the back end of this car, which is honestly my favorite angle of this vehicle. Super clean and elegant, sort of a vestigial spoiler that runs right here through the hatch. We've got wing-like tail lights that run the width of the body. They fit it very nicely. And then of course, we've got Acura spelled out right across the hatch here in an interesting font. I'm not sure if that's Comic Sans. Maybe it's Times New Roman, I'm not sure. But what do you think? Leave us a comment. Well, unfortunately, we cannot go inside the Acura Performance EV concept, and basically zero technical details have been released about this design study, aside from the wheels and brakes, but with the production model, I think it's safe to assume the thing will feature a lithium ion battery pack likely mounted in the floor. I mean, I don't think they're gonna put it up in the roof as hilarious as that would be. Additionally, I would expect the production model to have either standard or available all wheel drive. And since the production variant will be assembled in the state of Ohio with its battery pack sourced from Ohio as well, I would not be surprised if it were eligible for some juicy federal tax credits. A production version of the Acura Performance EV concept is expected to come out in late 2025, so roughly a year from today, and it will be the very first fruits from Honda's massive 
electric vehicle investments. They're spending some $700 million to upgrade a range of factories in Ohio. They've also got a joint venture with LG Energy Solutions. In total, they're going to spend some $4.4 billion on that. So going forward, it will be absolutely fascinating to see what sort of EVs Honda and Acura come out with in the coming years. Though I'll tell you, I'm particularly excited to see what the production version of this concept looks like. Next up, for an Acura EV you can buy today, check out my first drive review of the ZDX Crossover. This vehicle offers a lot of great features and it is eligible for the full $7,500 tax credit. To learn more, click right over here to check out that video right now.